and the Soviet Union. It was no small skirmish. Artillery, tanks, and support aircraft were deployed by both sides. But it was the Soviets who emerged victorious. The following year, tension between the two nations resulted in another border the conflict with the Outer Mongolian River of Kalkin Gol. Again, the result was a victory for Stalin in what proved to be a substantial engagement until August 1939. No fewer than 50,000 Japanese were listed as casualties. In the days that followed, Soviet commanders negotiated with their Japanese counterparts. But regional tension remained, and it was an uneasy peace that now endured along the Manchurian Soviet border. And the intentions of the Japanese remained a concern amongst the leadership of the Soviet Union, a leadership that was dominated by Joseph Stalin. Present by birth, Stalin became leader of the Soviet Union in 1924 and remained in power until his death in 1950. Stalin's power was absent within his borders as his national cult of personality confirmed. Stalin, terror, and violence were legitimate political tools. In the 1930s, millions of Soviet citizens paid the ultimate price as their leader unleashed bloody purges of anyone suspected of opposition to his rule. Many of the Soviet Union's finest military men were amongst those who perished. Stalin's ruthlessness applied equally in foreign affairs. In 1939, he stunned the world by authorizing the notorious non-aggression pact with Hitler's Germany. This act of political expediency went against everything Stalin believed in, but it achieved the result that he wanted. When the Nazis unleashed the Blitzkrieg in 1939 and 1940, the Soviet Union stayed on the sidelines, giving Stalin valuable time to prepare for any conflict that lay ahead. The Soviet leader also made a similar deal in the East. By early 1941, Stalin was increasingly concerned by the potential threat from Imperial Japan. So in April that year, the Soviet leader authorized another non-aggression pact, this time with the dominant power of the East. The Soviet Union was now formally at peace with both Japan and Nazi Germany and Stalin was succeeding in keeping his country out of the Second World War. But it would not be for long. <laughs> 